KHOU 11 News at 6 starts now. Good evening, I'm Marcelino Benito. Thanks for joining us on this digital webcast. Tonight, we're hearing from a man who was beaten into a coma. The injury so bad, they had to remove part of his skull. Adael Gonzalez Garcia and his attorney says he was assaulted by one or more guards inside the Harris County Jail. Troy Kless reports. In December, Adael Gonzalez Garcia was in a coma. Today, he's talking for the first time since he was hurt. Prosecute these individuals who almost killed Adial. Garcia's lawyer, Randall Callanan, is filing a civil lawsuit against Harris County. The attorney says the front of Garcia's skull was so badly injured, pieces were removed and replaced with a prosthetic. He's seeking justice for what has occurred to him and changed his entire life. According to documents in a lawsuit, Garcia allegedly fell from his cell bunk and was taken to the jail clinic on November 25th. The next day, Garcia was being brought back to his cell when, quote, one or more jail guards used force. In December, family said they were told Garcia got combative and hit an officer, but they don't believe the injuries match the story. Callanan says nobody from the jail has been disciplined. Harris County has not been giving up the videos. They haven't been giving up the reports. They're very secretive, and so we haven't got a lot of information. But I can tell you this. They did not charge Adial with assault on a public servant. Callanan's filing in federal court says Harris County is liable for, quote, having a pattern of guards assaulting inmates. Garcia and his family are left with mounting hospital bills and are asking for unspecified damages. Harris County needs to look into this and they need to, you know, get rid of those bills because they did it to them. And they need to uh, get the disciplinary system in order. The Harris County Sheriff's Office says they couldn't comment on pending litigation. A spokesperson for the district attorney's office says the case will be presented to a grand jury when it's ready. Troy Kless, KHOU 11 News.